We've all heard the horror stories of people falling victim to bank fraud or identity theft. These days, it's happening more than you think. Much of it starts with malware, key loggers, phishing tools, and spyware that silently steals your login details or personal data. So is Avast still good enough to stop it in 2025? Well, we all spend so much of our lives online now, banking, shopping, connecting with friends and family. But that also means we're constantly targeted for malware, phishing scams, and all sorts of digital dangers. Now. I've been trying to do some antivirus comparisons in 2025 to find a cybersecurity solution that's both effective and doesn't feel like a constant drain on my operating system. Today, I'm here to answer how good Avast actually is as an antivirus. I've been using it to protect my devices in my day-to-day -day life to see if it's still a reliable buffer against these online threats in 2025. Now, if you're already thinking about boosting your online security with the software, make sure you check the link in the description of this Avast antivirus review or scan the QR code on the screen for a 60% discount. Now for the Avast antivirus pros and cons. For me, the real value of any antivirus comes down to how well it handles these weird email attachments you weren't expecting, or those phishing websites that look a little too close to the real thing. Avast real-time threat detection has been pretty good at flagging suspicious activity before it becomes a problem. I mean, I've had it pop up warnings about potentially malicious websites, which definitely made me think twice before clicking further. Now, Avast Wi-Fi security scanning is another feature that's genuinely useful in 2025, especially when you're using public Wi-Fi. What it does is it quickly checks to make make sure the network you're connecting to isn't compromised. Pretty convenient, for sure. What I also appreciate about Avast Antivirus is that it offers customization features that allow you to fine tune its operation to suit your needs. Oh, and did you know Avast has a free version? It's there if you want to try out the basic first, but a word of caution. The free version does not have the security features that you need to stay completely safe online. Features like Avast Premium Scan Protection and Web Shield does not have the security features that you need to stay completely safe online. These features essentially encrypt your connection and protect you from phishing scam websites that might attempt to steal your credit card information, passwords, and other personal information. However, the free version can be a bit annoying at times. It's always reminding you to upgrade to Avast Premium Security to get the more advanced features. I mean, Sometimes it really gets on my nerves. While the paid versions sometimes include a VPN, it's not the main focus, so don't expect it to be as robust as dedicated VPN services. Also, on older devices, Avast can sometimes use up your system resources, which can lead to some frustrating lag. So while Avast consistently performs well in independent malware detection tests, when it comes to determining if it's the best antivirus for Windows or Mac in 2025, it still depends on your setup and needs. So guys, if you're looking for a reliable antivirus solution to protect you from those real world online threats in 2025, Avast is definitely worth considering, especially with that 60% discount link below or the QR code on screen. Okay, catch you later.